Hey YouTube, St. Frank here. Today's episode of, of Hobby Talk, we're going to be talking about the big news this week. Um, it's about PSA cutting off, basically shutting their door to bulk submissions and regular and value and all those different services. <clears throat> um, a month ago, in, in uh, the beginning of March, they actually raised double, pr pretty much doubled their prices of all those services and I think they did it to try to uh, stem the tide of all the cards getting graded and apparently that didn't work so they decided to just shut all those down. And this is going to have a major effect and it already is starting to have a major effect on the uh, hobby. And um, I just want to do a video um, to show what my reaction is going to be. I know I'm not the typical collector. Um, but. Um, I just wanted to give, I mean, some of the people that watch this channel know, kind of know the kind of stuff that I collect and um, what I'm about on collecting. So I just wanted to give um, what how I'm going to react to this. So what I have noticed is I think that um, this is a good time to maybe buy already graded stuff. I've noticed that I've been able to get PSA 9s at a very good deal. Um, like for instance, I was able to pick up this. This is an awesome card. Um, uh, Michael Porter Jr. Silver Prism PSA nine. Got this for a really good deal, and um, I think there's deals out there to be had on on PSA nines. And um, just from my experience of grading stuff so far, I've noticed that PSA nines are gorgeous. There's usually, I mean, they're borderline. Uh, sometimes it's very like this card very difficult for me to see what might cause this to not get a PSA 10 maybe slightly off-center um, Just very slight, but I've seen definitely seen PSA 10s that were that centering so um, I, I I think I'm gonna focus more on trying to get PSA 9s for my collection um, And like this this player Michael Porter jr. He's doing he's done great ever since the bubble last year and for some reason um his cards just are more available for right now and they're going to be a playoff team i'm pretty sure so um also was able to pick up this um uh, patrick mahomes this is a 8.5 which um i got this before the psa shut down and um i looked on ebay and you can't get the prices of uh of slabs on ebay have like i didn't get this on ebay i got this at a local hobby shop on eBay, the prices of slabs have gone up a lot, and um, but you know you can still find little hidden gems like that. Just I wouldn't go for PSA tens um, if you're trying to keep on a budget, you know. But like this, I got this for seventeen fifty, and there's none, none no eight point fives on eBay right now. So I um, they had two of them, so I picked both of them up and I put one on eBay uh, and see if uh, someone will, will buy that slab for me. Which I think I, I could probably double my money on the other one. So basically, get this one for free. I mean, seventeen fifty, you can't, um, you can't outgrade that card for that much. Before they shut down the services, this would have cost twenty five dollars even to get graded. So if you can buy slabs for under that, I think they're good deals. Here's another one I picked up. Another PSA nine, beautiful card. Patrick Mahomes silver select. It's not as a rookie, um, but I mean, the Chiefs are my team, so um, I don't have any nice Mahomes cards. Um, I did buy some 2018 stuff, but never hit any Mahomes rookies. But this is a beautiful card. It's never going to get a 10 because it is off centered a little bit, but beautiful card. Looks amazing, slabbed. It's going to be in my collection forever. Um, here's an example of a card that. Um, you might be able to get on a, on a good deal. It's a PSA 9. Um, Michael Jordan. Um, get ones that are already graded, guys, because you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to grade stuff now anyway. And once PSA opens back up, my thought is that it's gonna be $35 to $50 per card to grade. So these kind of cards are not gonna get graded probably for a while. Unless they bring the prices back down again. So I was able to get this. I think I paid $20 for this card. Um, just a steal. Another card that you would cost you. Uh, this was not a ultra so it would have cost you twenty dollars to get graded anyway. So it's like a free card. 
Um, cards like this, um, I think uh, I've definitely been noticing that um, PSA 9 vintage Pokemon cards are great looking cards. Uh, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty close to flaws. It's hard to find anything wrong with these cards unless you're worried about like a little tiny little white nick on a corner or something. They're, they're grading pretty tough. So if you can get PSA 9s at a good deal, I think um, they're they're definitely going to go up since PSA is uh, prices are going up. Um, like here's another. This is one that you probably wouldn't have thought of buying before, but um, they're putting out lots of 8.5s now, and the 8.5s honestly look just as good as the 9s. There's the nice card. Um, cards like this, um, PSA 9. Um, primes from the heart gold soul silver era these are a great buy i think um this era of pokemon is going to start going up because there's so few that ever got graded and it's going to be j with the prices going up um i don't think a lot of this era will ever get graded uh, here's a promo um, it's a psa 8 but just a beautiful promo um i was able to get this uh one soto psa 9 um, Chrome for a really good deal. Um, this is, I think, he's going to be the prime Major League Baseball player very soon. Uh, he's still, I think, he's like 21 or 22 still. He's already won a World Series. Um, he he could win triple crowns, guys. He's that good. And um, Trout, of course, is the goat right now. But um, Trout, he's probably getting closer to 30 so once trout hits the back side of his career it's going to be players like juan soto tatis and uh, acuna those are the, that's the next generation of great players um they'll take over the mantle from trout and here's another card um this card has gone crazy lately i got ripped off i think on this because i could never find anything wrong with this card and it, they graded a psa 8 um it is a card that I am probably going to resend just because I don't see how they could give this an eight. And I've looked it over. I've had other people look it over and they don't see anything. So my only thought is maybe some of these graphics lines that they thought were was a printing line, whoever was grading it, maybe an inexperienced grader. I'm not sure. But anyway, this card um, in a PSA 9 goes for quite a bit. And if I resend it, um, I could possibly get 10, I think, out of this. Uh, I've seen people resend PSA cards in and got grades too higher than what they were previously, what they had previously gotten. So it is possible. Uh, I would be happy with the nine though, just um, because uh, I just feel like that was this is not an eight. <laughs> it's a beautiful card. So it, for me to regrade a card now, since the uh, I'm anticipating the prices to be a lot higher. It's going to have to be a real high-end card like this to, to get regraded. Um, let me show you um, like some cards that I was I was building a couple orders um, under the $25, 20 twenty dollar twenty five range when the prices were there. That now I'm probably not going to be able to grade. This is more of lower end stuff, um, like a Juan Soto insert card, Luis Robert. Um, heritage rookie that I don't think would get a 10 um, in the old way I probably would have still graded those um, I might still grade this one just because I have a, a nice trout collection and this one looks pretty good um, it's a panini product but it's 2013 trout it's always cool to have older trout cards graded and it looks very clean I think it could get a 10 um, this is an example of a card I still will grade um, even if it goes up to like 40 50 dollars to grade a card I think this is a great card. It's 2013 um, Top's Finest. Um, here's another card that would still be worth getting graded. Juan Soto, this is um, 2017 Bone Chrome. Um, now, when it comes to Pokemon, um, this is a card that I would have graded because I like to have um, some of the V cards graded. I would have paid $20 to get this grade, but I am not paying more than that to get it graded. So I'll just keep it as a binder card probably from now on. Um, same with this. This is an era of Pokemon that's super low pop, but um, I don't think it'll get a 10. So I'm probably not going to spend 
over 20 to get it graded. Um, same with VMAXs. I think uh, VMAXs are not worth getting graded at over $20 price. Probably not worth getting graded over a $10 price, honestly. But um, I've been trying to put together um, some of the uh, some graded uh, VMAX cards. Um, these are cards that I will still grade even at a higher price once things open back up. Like this Espeon from Neo Discovery. Beautiful card. Great condition. There's still some cards out there, guys. It's raw cards, but you just have to know where to look. Um, um, I have I looked on eBay. It's getting harder and harder and harder to, to find gradable raw cards on eBay, especially Pokemon. I mean, it's just... It's rough. You almost have to buy PSA now off eBay. But um, I'll give a shout out to this company. Um, they're called uh, Cardinal Gaming. Um, they they look at their cards very closely and grade them very um, uh, realistically. And I trust when they say, like they said this is a light played card. It's definitely a light play card. It's gorgeous condition. Um, definitely worth picking up. I think it's even gradable. And I picked up this one. This is a, definitely a card that always eluded me. There's no way I was going to take a chance on eBay buying the, the bad condition cards on eBay of this. So I have a really nice one that um, it's probably at like a PSA 8, I guess. Maybe 7. But beautiful card I wanted to add to my collection. I'll still send that in at a higher rate. Oh, and by the way, you could spend $300 to get stuff graded, but... Um, this is the angle I'm taking as me as a collector. I I never sent anything besides bulk. Um, I'm not a flipper, so um, I'm not trying to get the card back really quick to flip for profit. I'm grading stuff for my personal collection, so that's why I only send stuff in bulk. And it kind of stinks because that means that um, gonna might be holding a bag on some of these cards unless I wanted to spend big money to get them graded, which is, that's just not gonna happen for me. So if they goes back, if they open it back up at twenty dollars, I you can guarantee I'm going to be sending in a nice order right away to get uh, this last. I probably even send my baby shinies in, just say forget it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them graded again later. So um, I'll probably buy it and spend the twenty dollars for even my baby shinies just to get them done. Um, I was able to get almost all my Pokemon cards graded before they raise the prices. So. Um, it is going to kill me to send in an order or two at $20 card. Like, this is a card I'll definitely send for $20. Beautiful, Secret Rare, Rainbow Rare, Gardevoir, Sylveon GX. I'm hoping for 10 on that. Um, this is another card. These are uh, tag team cards um, from the 2019 Pokemon sets. Beautiful cards. They're going to be... I think they're some of the best modern cards that um, have come out. And I definitely wanted to get one of those grade. So I would definitely spend over the 20 to get that grade. So that's just my reaction to it. Um, I'm just going to be patient and uh, wait till July and build up an order. Just look them over really closely. Make sure that I, I'm going to be getting good grades on these cards. Um, maybe break out a couple like this Tatis to send in for a regrade. Um, I'm definitely not sending in lower end stuff like this that I would have sent, but um, I'm I'm just not gonna do it. it. I don't think the the margin is not there. It's not like this card. Um, it's probably been graded even before the shutdown. We probably got a um, thousand of these in grading right now, and this is not a ten. If I had a ten of this, I'd probably send it in. And uh, please leave down in the comments what are your guys' plans with this uh, thing. Uh, another thing about me is I'm I like the PSA cards. I like how they look in the uh, slabs. Um, even though they irritate me with the grade or two now and then, overall they're very fair with the grades. Um, and uh, I think nothing beats the uh, return. If I did need to sell a card like this, you would get more money with it in a PSA slab than you would in like a uh, CGC or SGC, BGS, all those other companies. And uh, those other companies, guess what? They're raising their prices too. So uh, I'm just going to be patient and wait till July, wait for things to open up and I'll be using PSA and I'll just be, what depending on how much it costs to do bulk grading, um, 
you know, that'll cause me to be um, what level of, of cards I send in. So stay tuned for more videos, guys. I got a lot of PSA returns coming up because I was able to get a lot of my cards sent in before the price raises and shutdowns. And those cards are starting to make their way back. So um, a lot of exciting PSA reveal videos. Stay tuned for more videos. Later.